What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this exercise, we're going to add column and beam tags and we're going to reposition them to improve the visibility of our tags. Okay, so let's do this. So the first thing that we are going to do, we're going to add column tags. So this is our model. So as you can see, we have columns here. So we are going to put tags on our column. So to do that, so let's go to our annotate tab. And then let's select here tag by category or you can type TG as a shortcut. Or you can also go simply to your quick access toolbar and select this icon here. Just click that. Okay. And then if you have other tags created in your project, you can select first your loaded tags here if you want to change the current tag. So you just need to look for the category of the family that you want to modify so like for example this is our structural column so this is the loaded tag that is currently in use so if you have other tags that is loaded in your project you can click the drop down arrow and then you can see the list here if ever you have okay but in this exercise i only have the m structural column tag loaded in this project so i just select here okay or i'll just need to select cancel because I didn't do anything okay now I'm gonna include here the leader line of my tag so I'm gonna check that one and then you can specify here your leader line so as you can see the length here is 19 so I'll just accept this one so if you want to change this you can just type the value here you can also reposition your tag here for model vertical and horizontal okay for this one i'll just select horizontal okay so let's do this okay so now inputting your tag you just need to hover your pointer to the to the element that you would like to place your tag on which is our uh, structural column so that's the one so as you can see as i move my pointer it changes the location of my uh, tag Okay, so that's why I'm just going to put it here below. So um, once you see the tag, just click that. And then like that. Okay, just click again for this one. Okay, so click to place the tag. Click to place the tag. And then after that, you can select your modify to terminate your tag. All right, then after that, so let us reposition our tag so we can see it nicely or to make it more tidier so you can click that okay you can also click again your uh, tag and then you can drag that blue node something like that okay so again just click your tag you can click that icon to move your tag like that and then you can click that blue node and then you can reposition it okay right so let me just do it here to the other side as well let's reposition this like that and like that okay now the next thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to add the text here so to add the text just click this icon here or you can type tx okay so you can type tx for that so for that one i'm going to add a text here so you can click the drop down arrow to see the other available type of text so for this one i'll just use the 2.5 mm Arial. just click that and then here you can specify if you want to put a leader on your tag okay or on your text okay you can put a one segment one curve or two segments leader line and you can also specify here the location of your leader line so it's up to you you can also specify here the justification of your uh, text okay now for this one i do not want to have my text a leader line so i'll just select here no leader but i'm gonna put that on middle alignment and align center position okay and then after that i'm just gonna pick to place my text and then we can now type so let's say i'm gonna type here 100 mm uh, slab on grade and then just click outside that's it and then just select modify to terminate your text and then you can click again your text here you can click that blue dot 
to compress your text, something like that. Okay. And then after that, just click outside. So you can also use your uh, keyboard to move your text or tag. So let's say I'm going to select the text, then I can use the arrow on my keyboard. Okay. And then I'll just select here modify. Now I'm going to select this text here. I can still add a leader line if I want. So let's say I'm going to add a uh, left side arc leader. So I'm going to select this. And then I also want to add right side arc leader. Click. And there you go. And then I can also change the location of my leader line. So I can select here middle left. And then I can select here middle right. There you go. And then let me reposition the arrow. So I click the uh, text and then I'll just drag that. I'll just point it here. Okay. And then this one, I'll just point it here. Something like that. Okay. Now the next thing that we are going to do for this exercise is we're going to add beam tags. So to start that, so I'm going to change my project browser or I'm going to go to the project browser and change my view to second floor. Double click second floor. And then here I'm going to put a tag on my uh, framings here or to my beam. Okay. So to do that, again, I'm going to activate my tag tool. So I'm going to select this one. But this time, I do not want to include a leader line. So I'm going to clear this. Okay, and then I'm going to change the current uh, family for my beam or structural framing tag. So I'm going to click tags here. And then I'm going to move the slider down and then look for structural framing tags. So I'm going to click that, click the drop down arrow. I'll be using here this one. Let's say a uh, structural framing tag with studs camber standard. Okay, so I'm going to select this and then I'll just select your OK. Okay, and then that's it. I'm now going to place my uh, tag. So I'm going to click this, I'm going to click this, I'm going to click this, and then this one. Okay. And I also want to place one here, one here, and one here. And then I'll just select here, modify. Okay. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a another property to my tag. So to do that, I'm going to select the beams. Hold, uh, click one and then hold control to select the other beams. So I'm going to select these beams. And then from the properties, I'm going to add a text here on the camber size. So let's say I'm going to type here C is equal to 25 mm. And then I'll just select apply and then look what will happen to my tag. There you go. So there's an additional information added. So it also updates after I modify my beams or my structural framing. Okay, so another thing that you can do to uh, modify your tags is you can also go to the modify, oh, sorry, to the uh, annotate tab. And then here on the tag panel, you can see here the beam annotations. So I can click the beam annotations there. And then from the beam annotations for the Placement, I'm going to make sure all beams in current plan is selected. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the existing beam tags and spot elevation. So I'll be removing all of this. So I'm going to check this one tick. So what I want to do is I want on the annotation, location, and type level beams in plan, I want the middle area tag. Click that ellipsis button. So instead of none, I want to see the... Uh, structural framing tag. So I'm going to select that and then the family that I will be using here is just the standard one, the structural framing tag standard. So I select that one and then I'll just select here OK. Now for the bottom middle, okay, so I'm going to modify this one as well. So click the ellipsis button. This time I want to show the spot elevation. Okay, and then I want uh, the, the spot elevation type as plan view, uh, relative base, 
uh, to current level and actual elevation for the display elevation and then that's it so i'll just select your okay and then when i select your okay notice that all is now updated right